What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay today coming with the installation tutorial and also the review of another car radio that I picked up from eBay. As a matter of fact, the seller from eBay contacted me via email and they said, hey Jay, you want to go ahead and try our radio from CPEN? It's a very cool looking one and it's very inexpensive. I think your viewers will love it. I said, I totally agree with you. I think my viewers, according to the price of this radio and everything that it has to offer yes it is definitely a steal this one in particular here guys comes with a seven inch display it has the android 6.0 marshmallow and it has many many other features it comes with bluetooth it has the ability to connect via wi-fi it comes with gps and yes the gps works without internet so that's kind of cool as well and many other features that i'll be explaining as i go along here with everything that came included so anyways guys this is going to be installed on a GMC Onboard 2003 that is currently my vehicle. I have three cars in the house. I have the 4Runner of 2013. I have my new Dodge Ram 1500 2017. And I also have my third vehicle in which it's going to be donated to my sister. It's a, uh, again, GMC Onboard 2003. And the reason I'm giving it to her is because she just came from Puerto Rico. She lost everything over there. And she came here to the United States. And my other brother and I have been helping her get everything. She already has a house rented uh, we helped her with all the uh, finances for it and now she's getting a car from me and it's just an appreciation for everything that she has done she basically raised me as I was a little kid she's a lot older than I am she's actually our oldest sister so I think she will love it and again Jenny this is dedicated to you so I hope you really enjoy it so I already got all the kit guys and to be honest with you I went ahead and pre-installed it it didn't come with these brackets that you see on the side this is designed for the GMC Envoy uh, 2003 and in case you want to install this on the same vehicle I have left everything that you will need down below just click on it and it'll take you directly to it so I already installed the brackets and everything is working perfectly well right now I have it to where it is just a plug and play as a matter of fact here I have the harness and for those of you uh, installing it on a GMC Envoy of that same year that I just mentioned 2003 up to 2007 you will need this uh, wiring harness and this one comes with a shime that's because the factory radio came with the shime included internally so this basically allows for you to hear if uh, for example if you leave your car keys on it's going to start making that little uh, beeping sound that normally cars do uh, in order to tell you that you had the keys in the ignition it will also uh, warn you if you have your headlights on and so on and so forth this is very important because I did get another wiring harness for that vehicle but it didn't work because as you guys can tell it doesn't have the uh, shime on here or the option to connect it so for that reason I had to get a different one this one came from Walmart but I will also be providing the Amazon link for it so with this being said guys I also got a kit that again has been um, the link has been left below uh, this kit is the one that provides the brackets for your GMC Envoy 2003 or uh, you can just search for your own vehicle this is a universal uh, car stereo or radio and it should work with pretty much any um, setup that you have out there so this is a double din as you guys can tell and on the back here we have the little connection for the uh, GPS we had the connections for accessories let me uh, show you exactly what I'm talking about this is the uh, rear view camera that came included now on this particular tutorial I would not be showing you guys how to hook up the camera that might be done on a separate video because of time consumption but we do have here the camera as you guys can tell so they're not telling you lies this thing comes already with it and that's very cool we got a very long wire so you can run it from the back to the front side and connect it here to the radio and then here we also going to find the connections that go here on the back side of the radio and then this one is going to give you all the connections to uh, input and also output devices into the radio here so that's kind of cool uh, next we got here a uh, USB extension and all this goes connected on the back side here so we have a USB adapter on here in case you want to pass it along the front side of the vehicle and these things are not 
uh, you know, or not anything new. To be honest with you guys, you have seen it in the past, so that's kind of cool that they came included with this radio. And finally, here we have the uh, GPS antenna. Okay, and all this came included from factory, so that was very, very nice by this company. It makes things a lot easier. So now that we know everything that comes inside of this radio box, now we're gonna set it aside and I'm gonna give you the specifications. So as I mentioned before, it has a seven inch display, uh, capacitive buttons here on the side. You don't have physical buttons this time. And also uh, it doesn't have a CD player. It comes with the Android um, Marshmallow 6.0. It has one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory. And yes, the interface is very nice and easy to use. Um, of course it comes with built-in GPS and you have the antenna for it as well. So you don't need internet connectivity uh, for this to work work but you can also use your cell phone's hotspot and watch videos on here it has the uh, Google Play already pre-installed and it is pretty much a tablet inside of your dashboard that's all it is guys it works absolutely perfect so what we're going to do now is go ahead and jump to the GMC Envoy of 2003 show you the installation tutorial and then we're going to be conducting a little bit of a review and that should end the video so I hope you truly enjoy it let's get started Alright guys, so here we are approaching my GMC Envoy 2003 model. This is the one that I've been talking about all this time. And to get it started, um, or actually to be able to remove this bezel on the front side here, you have to start by removing two Phillips screws that are on the side of the vehicle. They look just like this. They have two on the driver's side and two on the front passenger side. And then after removing those, you will find some 8 millimeter bolts on the inside of the vessel right here. You guys can't see the screw because uh, it didn't come with this vehicle. I guess it has been worked on before. Uh, that's great news for me, but in your case, if you do have them, you need to remove them. And they come with one on this side, one on the other side, and that's pretty much it. And then we can start removing the front vessel. And after removing those two 8 millimeter bolts, I was able to get this thing completely apart here from the dash. And it's very, very simple, guys. All you have to do is get a grip here on the bottom side. In my case, I have this little compartment. Now, on certain vehicles with 4x4 capabilities, you're going to have a button located around here. So my best suggestion is to try to grab it from the very bottom side and try to get a nice grip and pull it out. And then it comes... Um, the clips will come along as you keep pulling uh, but again start from the bottom side is a whole lot easier and then after getting it off from the dashboard um, all we have to do is disconnect these little uh, cables on the back side one is for uh, the 4x4 connection if you have it in my case it's just sitting there then we have the lighter connection on here and another auxiliary cable on there and then uh, we can go ahead and remove the entire vessel and now our next step is to remove two seven millimeter bolts here on the driver's side and one seven millimeter bolt on the passenger side. And then with a little nice pull, out comes the radio. And to remove the radio completely, just like I completed here, you need to take out these two wires connected to the back side of the radio. We got here, again, the AM, FM antenna connector. Now, this one here is not the standard, so you need to get an adapter for it. Luckily, my wire harness came with it, uh, the one that I got from Amazon. and. These uh, should be just standard connections. Hopefully I can uh, complete everything with just uh, the connection that I have for this harness right here. And I'm not sure what this one is for, but I guess that we won't be using this little connection here on the side. And now guys, everything is working properly. This time I don't have any helper like on other vehicles that I've done in the past. Uh, but anyways, let me just go ahead and try to unmute this thing here. Let me see. Um, I don't think I am there we go so right now you guys can see that well the uh, stereo is working properly let me go ahead and increase the volume here momentarily okay everything is working properly so that's definitely great I got uh, AM and FM signal so let me try that again let me increase the volume here trying to multitask with one hand is kind of hard but um, let me set the station here. Okay, and as you guys can tell, 
it is working properly so this is definitely great news and now when it comes here to the brackets i went ahead and proceeded with a kit that i got also from amazon and this worked very well didn't have any issues whatsoever so we have here a bracket for the left side if you're looking at it from the front and yes we do have the uh, two openings for the two screws that go right there as you guys can tell they do match perfectly well and then we have the opening here for the screw that goes on the right side and everything fits perfectly well and voila guys here we have it so you can see right there the bracket uh, I got the two screws on there and it fits perfectly well the same thing goes here for the right side so yes everything is fitting very very nicely I already uh, checked out the bezel and I put it on here to see if everything was going to match well um, you know according to the size and everything and everything looks absolutely perfect so let me go ahead and finish here the installation and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the radio itself all right guys so now we have finished here the installation of the c-pin radio that i got here for my gmc envoy 2003 and everything went very very nicely with the exception of the delay on the connection due to the fact that i needed a different wiring harness so anyways guys everything works absolutely as intended and i do have here my iphone 10 as a light right now so i do apologize for the low quality video but anyways i just wanted to show you that there are some gaps here on the side and it has to do because well this bezel is not square completely it does have some curves to it so for that reason you're gonna see some gaps here on the side of the radio but the bottom and the top are almost perfect it looks like a factory radio if you guys ask me but um, also being honest here guys if you're looking at it here in real life you really won't mind those little openings on the side as a matter of fact you can barely see them so it doesn't really bother me and if it really does bother you all you need to do is get some black foam here for the sides and just cover it up and it should look good as new so anyways we're going to start here with the navigation application is uh, from Sigic and it does work perfectly well I don't have any issues whatsoever so here we can see the maps is by Sigic and it does use the antenna provided with the uh, radio which is the one that I show you guys on the unboxing portion of the video so anyways going back here to the main page actually here if you guys uh, swipe down from the upper left hand side corner towards the bottom you're gonna get the home key the back key and also the task killer key uh, just like on any Android device the next one we got is uh, radio this is for your FM AM and again everything works as intended <laughs> I'm getting a very nice reception here and you have tons of options here that well the radio will give you in order to find the best stations available uh, for FM and also AM so again that's another plus uh, we got here DVR unfortunately guys I don't have the camera connected for the rear view um, uh, connection I didn't hook it up yet because of the fact that well it is time consuming and I am very busy at this time of the year with the post office so I didn't have the time to do it uh, we do have here the music app and this is basically for any content that you have inside of the radios memory uh, we got videos here and this is basically the same thing for any content that you have inside of the actual radio we got the browser and there we go everything worked as intended so right now we're on google and you can search pretty much anything on here just like on any other browser uh keep in mind guys that this is basically a tablet on a radio so that's basically what you're getting so i'm not going to review android once again i'm just letting you know that everything works perfectly great so here we have a dedicated shortcut for the bluetooth for your smartphone and it's very nice and uh, well done on here so right now i am connected here to my iphone as i explained before and this is the device's name uh, you need to insert a pin and everything will work as intended so you can play music directly from your uh, smartphone you can use it also for android uh, then we have here Miracast and this is a great feature on any radio out there it's called um, easy connected yeah that's exactly what it says easy connected so if you click on it so right now here you have Android via USB connection or you can do iPhone directly in my case I was able to do the iPhone and it works just as intended but unfortunately guys I'm using it here as a lamp so I really can't uh, show you that right now but just take my word for it it works exactly as intended uh, and then we have here some other applications like the Play Store itself and this is working very nicely so I was able to download 
YouTube and also Google Maps. So as you guys can tell, I'm not having any issues here whatsoever. And let me tell you guys that for $109, I am super impressed here with the quality on this unit right now. And I'm pretty sure it's all generic. I mean, I know they're calling it right now CPIN or SEPIN or whatever you guys call it, but um, you know, it comes to where this is just a generic product that anybody can adopt out there and just make up a brand name. So that's exactly what basically they have done here, but nevertheless, it is still a very, very nice radio. So here we have Google Maps. This one also works as intended. No problems here whatsoever. And having that GPS antenna definitely helps quite a bunch. So, I mean, it does um, here and there lag a little bit that's because we only have one gigabyte of uh, RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal memory um, also guys with this unit uh, you're gonna get a quad core processor so it is not like you know other Android devices that come with octa core processor this one you can only do certain things at a time otherwise you will start noticing some lag so what I do is I go here to the task killer and I go ahead and kill everything on the background that way I can have a smooth working radio so other than this guys everything else is pretty self-explanatory we have here some quick toggles and one of them here is for the uh, customization of the music you can see I can change the treble the bass uh, you know pretty much everything that you can do with any other radio out there and also comes with some presets right now I have it on pop but if you move here to the side it goes into rock we got classical we got jazz we have custom okay of course this is self-explanatory and then it goes back to standard in my case I have it on pop and it's working just great so with this being said guys I think that we have now completed the unboxing the installation and the review of the seeping car radio that I got directly from the website and again if you guys do have any questions you just go ahead and comment below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.